America. Start your day off right with our host, Peggy Preggers, everyone's favorite permanently pregnant relationship counselor on the Lifetime Channel. Tony and Maria, thanks for coming in today. I hear you guys are newlyweds. When was the wedding? Well, it was just this past spring. We had the ceremony in the church. <laughs> <coughs> uh, well, it wasn't that bad of a ceremony. It's cool, it's cool, keep going. Well, there was a problem from the start. Um, unfortunately, a few days before the ceremony, Tony's grandma died. Oh, balls! That's what we said. Well, sort of. So, Maria, what kind of position did that put you in? A bad one. <laughs> Could have been more awkward of a position than pregnant sex. What? <clears throat> Never mind. Well, it put me in an awkward position, too, because, Did well... Did I ask you how you felt, Tony? Yeah, you got the magic stick, and you think you can poke it wherever you want? Yeah, right, Tony. Shut up. Shut up! So, Tony, how did that make you feel? Uh, I was really sad about my grandmother. You see, when I was younger, my grandmother used to tuck me in at night and sing to me, You are my sunshine. My only sunshine. You, you make, make me happy. happy. know how to hurt a guy's feelings. Men? Feelings? <laughs> oh, and what about you, Maria? Well, um, I was just so disappointed that after I bought the flowers and everything that the wedding would be postponed, and I knew that the yellow roses would die in that time. Can I just say, I think someone's grandmother is a bigger deal than a bunch of flowers! Of course you do. You chauvinistic, self-centered man. Who are you anyway? Haven't you been pregnant for four years? <laughs> right? Am I right? Thank you. Shut up, Tony. Do you know what that is behind you? Audience, you know what that is behind him? It's a computer-generated statue of my baby's son-o-gram. Oh. Oh. And you know what? Baby doesn't like you. 